Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always a great honor for me to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. God bless you. Thank you so much for always coming back. Um, please, I'd like to, to hear if this ministry has um, blessed you spiritually, if uh, I've been able to minister to your spiritual needs at one point or the other. <clears throat> so please kindly drop a comment telling me how this ministry has ministered to you, how this ministry has been able to um, help you spiritually i'll be very happy to read them i'll be thrilled you know sometimes it is these messages you send that encourages us i always say it it is not easy to always be in a position where you 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 you, you are keen enough to hear prophetic messages and you have to put yourself together to you know give it out sometimes it gets really tiring and overwhelming but when you receive messages of appreciation when you receive messages of confirmation when people tell you how they were blessed i tell you the truth it has a way of encouraging you and setting you up on your feet and getting you going so i'd like to 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 read from you just on the comment session and i, I of course people do encourage me people do, do send me messages and um, through my email but I, i'd like to hear from a, from a, a, a brother you know more people just on the comment section tell me how this channel has been able to impact your spiritual life and i'll be thrilled to to read the comments and reply as god helps me hallelujah to all my returning subscribers you are why you are the reason why i do this god bless you in the name of jesus god was ministering to me and he says someone prefers to die than to do this I mean, they prefer to die than to carry out a particular task that has been assigned to them. They have made up their mind to die than that they will carry out a particular task that has been given to them. It gets to a point, people are all about their reputation. It gets to a point, they are all about themselves. They are concerned about themselves, how they are perceived, how people see them. They are just concerned about their reputation. And because of that, they would not want to do certain things, even though God has prompted them to do it. Even though God has told them to do it, they will not want to, they prefer to die. You know, I, 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 I have a friend, you know, she was in a relationship with this person. And at, as at the time, she did not know this person was her kingdom spouse, like her god ordained kingdom spouse. They had issues while they were dating and they separated. And while they, they separated and, you know, they, the guy tried to get back to her and she would not give in. And a few years later, she realizes or God tells her, that is your kingdom spouse. I need you to go back and make things right. And she's like, never. I can never go back to talk to them. Never. I'd rather be single than go back. Not because she does not love him or the guy was abusive, but just because of her pride. She feels like going back to talk to this guy is going to be a little harsh. She'll be considered desperate. She'll be considered, you know, it was all about her pride. And she told me about it. I said, but if you feel like God is telling you this, why not just go ahead and do it? And she's like, I can't. She prefers to die than to do that. Now it was all about her pride. It was all about her reputation, her image, how she's going to be perceived and all of that. And it's not just that today, you know. It's not just that today. It has This has been going on. Even in the Bible, remember Jonah? Jonah faced a similar situation. God sent him. Go deliver this message to the people of, of, of Nineveh. Go tell them that they have sinned and I'm going to destroy them. And Jonah, because he knows that God is a merciful God, he tells himself, no. If I go tell these people that they have sinned and God will, 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 will destroy them, if they repent, God will change his mind and I'm going to be considered a fake prophet. So I am not doing this. I am not going on this errand. So right now, it was not about the message. It was about his, the authenticity of his 
prophetic. It was about how he was going to be perceived as a prophet. He was worried that he would be termed a fake prophet because he spoke a word and it did not come to pass. And I realized that many prophets have found themselves in this place where, you know, God reveals certain negative things to them and they don't want to pray and advert it because if they pray and advert it, they are going to be tagged false prophet. So they will just deliver the message and leave it like that. Whereas they had the power to pray and advert it. So now it stops being about serving. It starts being about personal aggrandizement. It starts being about reputation. It starts being about ser self, self, and not about service to humanity. It starts being about self and not, whereas we are just messengers and mouthpieces of God. And if God places you in a position where you can change things, why do you have to think about your reputation? Why do you have to think about how you are going to be seen and perceived if at the end of the day, that action glorifies God? It was so bad for Jonah that even while he was on the boat going to Tashish, the experience of terrible storm, the experience, I mean, the storm was terrible and they were going to sink. And he told the people on board, I know I am the problem. He got convicted in his heart. He was the problem. He knew for a fact that God was after him for refusing to do that which he was assigned to do. And instead of repenting in his heart and saying, God, I am sorry. If you give me another opportunity, I'm going to go to Nineveh and deliver the message you have given me. He instead told the people, throw me overboard. He was, he knew that I mean, he's not have a life jacket. So he knew him going overboard means he's going to die. If they throw him into the water, he would die. They were in the middle of the ocean. There is no way he couldn't have known that he would be able to swim to shore. So he was ready to die. Then go deliver that message. And the people repent and he is later, later considered a false prophet. He made up his mind that he would, he would rather die than go through that. I really do believe that if he repented and he told God, please give me an op another opportunity, I will do this. The storm would have ceased and he would have had his opportunity to go preach to the people of Nineveh. Do you know why? Because while he was in the fish's belly, he repented. He repented and it was no longer about him. It was all about God. There was a point he says that I will pay my vows to the Lord. It means I will do that which God has asked me to do. And after he had repented and he became sober, the fish vomited him. If God places you in a position where you have to do something, it doesn't matter if your ego is tempered with. You are just his handmaid who were created for his good pleasure. It's okay to go ahead and serve God. Even if it tempers with your ego, even if it tempers with your reputation, if it is about God, then it is worth it. I pray this message was able to minister to you somehow. In Jesus' name, amen.